Good evening, campers, and welcome aboard the Starship Nightwish. I'm Commander Exorcist, and it is time once again for Talk O Tuesday. This is my weekly Elite Dangerous show where I pick a Galnet article, read it, talk about it, primarily from a lore perspective, but I will break the fourth wall if necessary. Let's break the fourth wall right off the bat because um, this article actually came out last week um, well in advance for me to be able to do a Talk O Tuesday video on it. I did not, and the reason is... I just didn't want to. Um, this this article, um, I saw it, and the title really annoyed me, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But the just the concept of the article just really bored me to tears, and I felt like, at least at the moment, the place I was in at the time, I just felt like I really couldn't do it justice. Um, but times time has passed, and it's a week later. I've had some time to think about it, and so we are going to go through um, this article. And so now, with that said, the way this typically works is that there doesn't seem to be a really consistent schedule when it comes to Galnet. We might get one on Thursday. We might get one on Tuesday. Who knows? That's fine. That's Frontier's prerogative. But most likely, I'm going to put this video out, record it early. It's going to go live. And then we're going to get a Galnet article probably shortly after this goes live. If that happens, and I feel like it's worth my time, then I'll, I'll go back and probably do a supplemental to this one. But this is what we got for this week. Because we're going to talk about Sirius. That's right. We're going to talk about some unusual trading that is going on uh, in uh, in Sirius Corporation and a huge hit that they took. Um, I know a little bit about the article. Haven't read it. So like I say, uh, when we do these, I read them for the first time with you guys. And so let's go ahead and take a look at Sirius stock price fluctuates after unhinged trading patterns. I despise the term unhinged, and um, I see the word later on in the article, and we'll talk about it when we get there, and I'll tell you exactly why I despise it. Recent moves by Sirius Corporation have resulted in uncharacteristic wobble in stock prices, according to Money Matters. In an exclusive story, economist Roberta Unwin has revealed increasingly aggressive attempts by Leong Roy to initiate a corporate takeover of Achilles Aerospace, Thus far, these attempts have proven unsuccessful, and by God, they better stay that way. Achilles Aerospace, listen to me. To the board members of Achilles Aerospace, yes, I'm talking to you. Don't let that happen. Don't give in. Don't accept chocolates from these people, roses, okay, spa packages, maybe a spa package, but don't, don't, don't lead into it, okay? Don't, don't, don't fall for the love bombing that they're going to do to you guys, okay? Achilles Aerospace is really a unique a unique entity at the moment in the galaxy, okay? They're in a very unique position to be able to leverage an extremely innovative technology against the aerospace mega giant Sirius. They are the ultimate threat to Sirius Corporation's dominance over the galaxy. You buy a ship, it comes with an, uh, an FSD pre-installed from Sirius Corporation. So they're used to just being there. When a commander goes out the, out of the, uh, out the airlock, they're used to being there. And that might change with Achilles, but it's only going to change if you stay the course. So Achilles Aerospace, off my soapbox, don't give in. Unwin went on to say, The current darling of the technology world, Achilles is riding a wave of momentum following the release of the SCO frameshift drive. This breakthrough risks dislodging Sirius's monopoly on FSD technology for the first time in over a decade. According to my sources, Lee is increasingly unhappy with the challenge to his dominance in the aerospace industry. And why would he be comfortable with that? He should be terrified. Because Sirius, for the last 10 years, has really sat on their hands and has really done nothing to improve the FSD. The FSD we get today is pretty much the FSD we got 10 years ago. Granted, there's been a little bit of an improvement through engineering, that's not serious. Guardian uh, technology has given us a little bit of a boost. That's not serious. The core drive hasn't changed in almost a decade. You're telling me that in all that time, Sirius hasn't been able to work on some basic things to make it better? 
No, I don't buy it. They've been sitting on their hands and they've just been resting and saying, hey, you know what? We're at the top of our game. Everybody who buys a ship gets serious FSD and we get a little bit of profit and they just kind of do nothing about it. They've just enjoyed their their place at the top, but they've enjoyed it for so long that they forgot how they got there. Now you've got Achilles Aerospace, the, the underdog that has come up with an amazing new technology that's going to potentially replace the FSD, okay? Wouldn't be surprised if the FSD is goes the way of the dinosaur very quickly because it's already on its way, all right? All of the new ships that are coming out those include SCO drives, and each generation gets better. The Python, great, had an SCO drive, and it worked really well. Type 8, it works even better. And I hear we're getting a new ship called the Mandalay. It works even better in that ship from what we're hearing. It's going to get worse for Sirius if they don't realize that this is their fault, and they've got to find a way to kind of catch themselves. And taking over Achilles is not going to help. It's just going to make everything worse. I've heard phenomenal numbers when de- detailing Sirius' multiple option offers uh, to purchase Achilles Airspace and its proprietary SCO designs. See, that's what they're after. They don't care about the rest of the stuff Achilles does. They just want the drive. Maxine Patro remains unswayed and has kept Achilles board members on her side for now. A company insider described Lee's obsession with Achilles as unhinged. I despise that term. I swear to God. And, uh, you know, the word unhinged is used by people with a limited lexicon. Okay. It's for people who, who genuinely despise something, whether it's a, a political position or a business decision or religion or a lifestyle choice, or whatever it is. And when they when they disagree with it, instead of coming up with a solid foundation in which they can debate and engage a person on the topic at hand, or come up with some kind of a you know a meaningful descriptor to talk about why certain decisions are being made or why things are a certain way and why they feel that they should be different, they use the word unhinged. It's just completely nonsense. That's my favorite word for a lot of this stuff. I, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I hate the word unhinged. I really do. Because it just really shows that the person has no position to argue. Here's what I got for you. You know what Lee's obsession with Achilles Aerospace shows for real? Forget the word unhinged. Erase that from your lexicon. You know what they really should have said? Terror. Lee should be terrified. Lee should be quaking. Okay? That Lee, when, when, when he goes to the bathroom to wash his hands and looks in the mirror, his hands should be shaking because his position at the top of the food chain in the Aerospace Corporation tier in the galaxy is genuinely in danger. And if he cannot get Achilles to either back off, give him some kind of a cut, or give in, he's done. And he knows it, and he should be terrified. And so a lot of times what you'll have is these business leaders who reach kind of this revelation point where they realize that they're going to fall apart. Their empire is about to crumble. They'll start to freak out. And all of a sudden they go from insanely effective business leader to just this chaotic thing where they where they're they're making weird trades and they're making purchases of companies that doesn't make any sense because they're grasping they're trying to find that next big thing as fast as possible when it did not happen organically and in Sirius's case because they didn't do anything to keep the development going i hate the word unhinged that's the end of my rant there Sirius Corporation has recently acquired several smaller corporations across the core systems. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about. Most of which relate to aerospace and technological research. One of the reasons you can do that is to strangle Achilles Aerospace. If you take up, if you buy a lot of these smaller research companies that help funnel research and development into companies like Achilles, then you can really kind of strangle them and and, um, and you have a little bit more leverage in negotiations. Um, But a perceived lack of short-term strategy has unnerved some investors this week with a 3.9% share price drop, costing the Megacorp trillions, uh, trillions, oh my God. That's trillions in value, not credits, okay? There was no credit, there's not credits being transferred. It's 
its value, but that's a, that is a, um, an amazing hit. It really is. Um, in recent weeks, Sirius Corporation has sought to pressure um, Pranavantal and the Utopia community into forging stronger links, with Lee described as enthusiastic, of course he is, about gaining access to Utopia's advanced technological prototypes. Pranavantal has warned that Sirius personnel are not welcome in Utopian com- communes, claiming to distrust Lee's motives. So see there, you've got, you've got Utopia that's like, hey, we don't trust this guy, and Lee's like, oh, they love me. It's like, dude, no wonder he's scared. He's realizing that people don't like him. People don't like his company. They don't like what they do. They, do, they have a really nefarious reputation. Then again, says Unwin, it's hard to bet against serious cooperation for long. The young Roy is accustomed to getting what he wants eventually. Yes, and that is the really, that's the unfortunate side of this. In that if Sirius doesn't get what they're being what they want, okay, then I would not put it past them to do things like sabotage and or just out, outright war. I mean, we've seen companies go to war, like trading missiles at each other um, in the galaxy. So it's entirely possible that Lee goes really insane and, and tries to take Achilles by force. Um, I just don't think the series is going to be able to keep up because... Any war they start is going to be outrun by the SCO drive people. So, hey, here these are the disciples. These are the people that keep the channel going. If you would like to support the channel, patreon.com forward slash commander exorcist is where you want to be. And that's going to be all for Taco Tuesday today. This was kind of an interesting one. Gave me a little bit of a chance to get on a soapbox. Um, I just noticed that my shirt actually matches the floor of, of the starport. That was not intentional, but it works out. Um, so, yeah, you know, I hope... I hope that we don't see a merger of some kind between Achilles and Sirius. Um, I think that what I would like to see, ideally, what I would like to see is Sirius coming out with an actual answer to what Achilles has done. Let's see some upgrades to the FSD. Let's see some competition. Let's see what happens when Sirius is really pushed up against the wall and Achilles is about to take their lunch money. What are they going to do? with what they've got because Sirius does have some really fantastic technology. They've got some really fantastic people that work for them. It's not about what you uh, have necessarily. It's about what you do with what you have. If Sirius was to gain access to the SCO technology, that doesn't mean they're going to be able to do anything exceptional with it. It's, it's about the spirit of innovation. And that's what Sirius, in my opinion, has really lost over the years. And maybe this is what they need. Maybe this a little bit of fear, real fear, of being knocked off the top is what they need to move on. Hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care, fly safe, and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.